Joey, I'm excited to see your studio. Oh, it's just a basement basically right now. Do we all green screen a picture of him in the background? Yes, please. Wait, is he joining right now? Patrick! Am I crashing this? No. no. Are you ready? Can I do it? I'm ready. Yeah, okay, go. here we go. <laughs> nice. That's pretty cool. Oh, there it is! <laughs> <laughs> no. Man. Dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> that looks creepy. Not fair that you pulled out my UNO modeling photo. <laughs> First thing on Google image search. Hi, I am Joey Lynch, and this is my somewhat of a basement studio for the time being. What do you guys want to see first? Posters, stuff? Yeah, show some posters. Oh, wrong one. Is that private stuff? No, no, it's secret. So this is like every poster. Start here. This is actually not a poster. This is a stencil that I made for a tour. This is just paper, but there's, I don't know if you can tell the thickness on that. That's all spray paint, just layers and layers. Show posters, street urchins, old Dave Goldberg band. Play. I didn't print it, but I designed it. This one I had fun doing. This was just all hand cut. I made pennants once for a show. I needed these on this paper so I could print. I printed on both sides. That's David Lee Roth. I can't remember what the issue was, if I got the date wrong or if the date changed on this one. You just print over it. Just Black Widow. That was just like a tour poster. Monsters of Folk. I think that's, uh, I think that's Max. It's the only time I put my, I put myself on a t-shirt. A photo of me holding up my brother's boom box that he just gotten for his birthday that I thought was like the coolest thing ever. I thought it'd be a good idea to print a full bleed poster once. Here's a fun little thing. So when you make a typo, you can just print the same color in a little blue, black, blue, blue square right there. <laughs> I did this thing for a while where I was making like a poster, but then I'd, at the same time, I'd do like a three up of like little tiny handbills. I also for a while did, you know, graduation announcements. So if you need graduation announcement needs, just let me know. Here's my first ever screen printed poster. For a BMS show. This is the most colors I've ever printed on a poster on a paper plate. I made like a seven color poster. For that show, I also printed on napkins with barbecue sauce. Here's this one again, Dan. Here's one for Sarah. I was gonna say, is it pink? Oh my goodness, that's the best. Tugboat Presents show I did for Dane Watkins. A total of maybe like three people showed up because there was literally a blizzard that night. So it's basically just people that were already in the building. How do you figure out what image you're gonna use? Like why did you decide a poodle for that poster? I have a box of just stuff that I like image wise that I know can translate well that has been being collected for, I don't know, like 15 or 16 years. It just keeps like getting added to. And like some things are still in there from 15 years ago and other things I pulled out and other things don't last, stay in there long because like, I put them in there and then I'll, when I'm trying to design something, I either come across it or I, I remember it and I go searching for it. I guess the main thing that's just been consistent is it's all just like hand done, either drawn or hand cut paper or things like that. Venus Underground show that was actually then canceled and so it had to be relocated. If you look closely in downsizing in Matt Damon's apartment, this is in the background. Boo cassette tape cases. What's a cassette tape? I don't, I don't know. I think you have to Google it. Album cover. Oh, Julian yes. Wall did an album once where they just had a, their album cover was just a die cut out of a circle and they had different artists make pieces to a certain dimension to be slid inside. I did these, so they just got chopped up and slid in. Slumber Party Records, I made these things for them for their first release. It's a little fortune teller. This was the prototype, and so I drew that up and then that turned into... What are the choices when you open this. them? What do we got here? We got a walrus, we got a bear, we got a bee, and we have a, a cap gun. Give me like a number, like one to five. Yeah, uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. Either a cap gun or a bear. A bear. Air country. Did you used to play music? No, not at all. Um, that's why I started screen printing. Because you wanted to play music? No, because I knew I couldn't. I just, it wasn't in me. And I wanted to make friends t-shirts and stuff. This one I did for benefit show. I did it more to the similar process of my prints. I printed once and then I painted in with a brush and then I printed to get on top. The only piece piece I have. Everything else is I got rid of. The only piece of ceramic I've ever made. 
What is that? It's Gandhi. His head came off. I know, that's how we were supposed to make them. Is that for sale? I have this super cool thing. That I didn't make this. This guy, Dwayne, when I lived in Lincoln, used to come into Yaya's when I worked there with these. It's all hand-colored twist ties. He made he made one of these, like, and brought a new one in, like, every, like, every week at least. All to scale, like, military aircraft. I asked him one day if he'd ever sell one. He said, yeah. And I said, how much? And he said, like, $6. What? Yeah. I mean, I, gave, I think I gave him all the money in my pocket, which was, like, 25 bucks. They make the perfect present because no one has one of those. This has been my favorite thing in my studio forever is my chunks of cardboard that I lay my squeegees on that I've had for like 15 years that just keep, that are just like thick with paint. So I think that's all I got. That was really amazing to see your studio, Joey. I gotta clean up now. Gotta put them all back in chronological order. <laughs> Talk to you next week. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.